Hallelujah. Amen. Um, first, I want to say to everybody, like never before, this is the time for the church. I believe that the Lord has revealed, as I mean, not the Lord causing this, this whole thing has revealed a lot of things um, that needs to be done. Um, and the Lord will use the church as um, uh, Truly, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God will be revealed, especially this love thing, like never before, has to be, this tribalism thing has to be condemned. So I want to encourage a lot of us, please, as you, if we need to start deliberately putting it out there, we need to start deliberately, you know, insisting, showing and, you know, communicating love and what we believe and, you know. And the Lord will strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Having said that, I want us to spend time. Before we're going to pray, the heart of God. If you have relatives in the place, um, in the place of, if you have relatives in the place of power, um, it's time to begin to put calls. What came to my heart? Let's read the book of Esther. Yesterday, one of the things that came strong to my heart on Saturday night, so yesterday was this is the time for Esther to go before the king and begin to speak. You know, we can't get there and be and get carried away with um we can't get there and get carried away, you know, with our influence. There's a purpose for our influence. I'm saying again for those that God has granted um, favor, um that have granted favor. So at the heart of the king, God has done a favor to step into um, a place of conversation and negotiation. It's not the time to just watch. Um, from the conversation I had yesterday, I realized that it takes a lot of discipline. Like even believers were so divided. But the Lord will unite us in the name of Jesus. Um, it takes a lot to look beyond your preference, your choice, and look at what is really happening. I think you could just step back and take a look at what is happening in terms of this tribalism, this eight. You don't need to be anybody of the past to speak up and, you know, and condemn this. And that is what I'm, we're going to pray about. We're going to pray for courage for the Nehemiah, the Esthers, and the Josephs. Um, we're going to pray for, what's the name of that lady? The young lady that spoke to Neyman. Is it? Yeah, that spoke to Neyman. To, let's go to Elisha. We're going to pray. It shows that Neyman, this girl was a slave. She had the right to, you know, profess solution, but she found courage. She found a route to the wife and all of those things, I believe. So, let's start it. On that day, no, let's go to seven. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Call up a shadow. Esther, chapter four. Esther four. You know, already there's a plan to, wow, well, this is like what is going to, there's a plan to destroy a particular people in the land. Yes, this was even foreigners in that land. And, um, Esther was told. Okay, let's let's go back a bit. Thank you, Jesus. When Queen Esther verse four was, and um, when King Esther's maid had Enoch came and told her about Mordecai, she was really dis distressed. She sent clothing to him to replace the bola, but he refused it. That when Esther sent for a church, one of kings in who had been appointed as a, a, a attendant, she ordered him to go to Mordecai and find out what was troubling him and why it was in mourning. So a church went out to, to Mordecai in the square to, in front of the palace gate. Mordecai told the whole story, including the exact amount of money a man had promised to pay 
into the royal treasury for the destruction of the Jews. Mordecai gave a charge a copy of the decree issued in Susa that called for the death of all Jews. He had a charge to show it to Esther and explain the situation to her. He also asked Acha to direct her to go to the to go to the king to beg for mercy and plead for the people. So Acha returned the message to Esther, but Esther told Acha to go back and relay this message. All the king officials, even the people in the province, know that anyone, anyone of yeah, this who appears before the king in his inner court without being invited is doomed to die unless the king holds out his gold scepter. And the king has not called for me to come to him in 30 days. So Atad gave Esther's message to Mordecai. <laughs> Mordecai sent his reply to Esther. Don't think for a moment that because you're in the palace, you escape when all other Jews are killed. If you keep quiet at such a time as this, deliverance and relief for the Jew will arise from other places. But, no, but you and your relative will die. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for such a time as this. Then Esther sent his reply to Mordecai. Go gather together all the Jews of Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days. For three days, night or day, my maid and I will do the same. And then, though it is against the law, I will go in to see the king. If I must die, I must die. So Mordecai went away and did everything as Esther has ordered. I feel like this is divine wisdom for us in this time. And as I'm saying that, we're going to pray for courage. We're going to pray for all the Esther. Because number one, a decision, a communication has to be, say for instance, Lagos State, I believe very strongly, it's not just when anyone is declared a winner. I feel, I believe the governor of the, the governor is still a sitting gov governor. There has to be compassion. If he is able to speak and go around in the last two weeks, go to churches, you know, preach a sermon, do all these things. And I mean no disrespect, I, I don't mean what I'm saying. From, from, from not saying anything to saying some, that means he can speak. There has to be, we have to pray. We are praying to God by the divine mercy of God. Nothing will happen. I know I will take the glory, but we'll pray as well for courage, for courage to, to act as leaders, the police, the, the security agencies, even, we forgot a lot, even the president, the vice president in the name of Jesus. So we're going to pray for the mercy of God and courage. That's like again, courage. Because this courage is, you know what, damn the consequences. And we're going to, and this one thing we have to learn to pray for our leaders going forward on a consistent basis: courage and 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 contentment. Because if you are content that okay, oh, I have saved, though, if they like, if I if this speaking will cost me, courage for them to pay the price. Courage in the name of Jesus. Um, so we're going to pray that, and I'm going to pray the spirit against this, like guys. This looming darkness, this looming spirit of chaos and mob riots and action that is brooding over this nation, we come against it in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray against it in the name of Jesus. Can we open our mouth and let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus? Let's open our mouth and begin. Before you guys don't noise, please believe me. Father, we come before you this morning. And we're using um, Esther chapter four. The Lord God, as you Gave Esther. Esther eventually received the wisdom of the Lord from Mordecai. That is not a time to be silent. Lord God, I decree. Come on, let's unmute our mic wherever we are. Let's begin to pray. Oh, my God, I'm going to 
in the name of Jesus, in Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. We're going to pray. The Father, have mercy on us and in this nation. Um, mm. one scripture that's coming to my heart now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. One scripture that's coming to my heart right now is um Isaiah 64. Is that it? Psalms, I think it's Psalms. Am I getting this right? Okay. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Isaiah 64. Oh, that you will burst from the heavens and come down. All oh, the mountains will quake in your presence. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, shaka da 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 da. Oh, secretary. It says, rend down your rend down the heavens and pour out your spirit from on high. Rend down the heavens and pour out the spirit from on high. It says, as fire causes wood to boil and water to boil, your coming will make the nations tremble and your enemies will learn the reason for your fame. In the name of Jesus. Oh, kala da da da. When you came down long ago, you did awesome deeds beyond our highest expectation. And oh, how the mountains quake. Oh, we're going to pray. Uh, you welcome those who, godly, who, who gladly do good, who's, who follow godly ways. For you are being very angry with us. For we are not godly, we are constantly, you know. But what my focus is, oh Lord, that you will rend the heavens and pour your spirit from on earth. Oh Lord, that you rend the heavens and pour out your spirit from on high. In the name of Jesus, can we open our mouth and begin to pray? Father, let it be an outpouring of your spirit from on high. 
all oh, that would be an outpouring of your spirit, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let there be an outpouring of your spirit from on high in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask the Lord that you rent the heaven to God and let there be an outpour, an overflow of your spirit from on high in the name of Jesus. We will be an outpouring of spirit this of our city, of our country, of our nation, oh God, in the mighty Name of Jesus, Nia <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Galatians 3.28. Galatians 3.28. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, shalabakasu. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It says that 
all who have been united in Christ, we are united with Christ in baptism and put on Christ, like putting on new clothes. There is no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male, female, for you are all one in Christ. We're going to pray against every tribal tension, clashes, that Lord, this, this demonic tribal war that is, that is brewing and that want to break out, we restrain it, we rebuke it, and we say, in, we say no. What do I mean? Even Christ, so as believers, I can I don't want believers cannot should not be found in tribal conversations and inciting tribal unrest. Because even your scripture tells you there is no longer Jew, there is no longer Gentile. You must understand the the the, the, the divide between the Jews and tender and and and, and Gentiles as are then we're gonna cry out, guys. I don't know how to it is. I stayed off the news as much as I could yesterday. I checked a few and I realized that there were still some tensions in certain places as regards Igbo, Yoruba, in Lagos. Like I said, based on what I saw, I don't know how, you know, whether it's verified or not, this particular one. But we could see certain things, at least if I don't believe anyone, at least someone in our church where, where was harassed. So we're going to cry out to God in the name of Jesus. We say no to this looming, this to the devil's attempt towards this looming tribal clash, guys. I'm telling you, it's just one trigger. This this mob spirit, and and I shared it in church, is going to gain ground if we don't if Christians don't quickly retrace their steps and understand that you see demons does not know. And you believe God and they leave you. Demons have no right to possess a believer. But a, be, a believer living in sin or living in bitterness, giving room to the enemy, he's looking for more hosts. Mm -hmm. When believers begin to lower the standard, you don't for, you forget that uh, upholding the principles of Christ is protection for yourself as well, for being manipulated, used by the enemy. We're going to cry out this morning that Lord God, we say no. To every tribal war, I will not be agents of the enemy to destroy ourselves in the name of Jesus. Can we unmute our mics and begin to pray? Oh, <laughs> 
Come on, don't get tired. All across this nation, peace in the name of Jesus. And then in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for peace. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. All around in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. giving to Nigeria. Thank you because thank you for your thank you Jesus for your peace. Oh thank you Jesus for your peace for your peace in the nation for your peace in leadership for your peace in all the tribes for your peace in the heart of the land. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for the peace you Thank you for your peace. 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 Oh, a tribal war. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you because this peace has come to you. Thank you because this peace has come to you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, shalabakadadada. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this nation. We thank you because there are words that have gone ahead of our time. We know you are answering our prayers. We know that the new Nigerian has been born and has been preserved. The same way Herod, Pharaoh, they thought they were, they were, they were suffering the people with their, their attempt to, with the massacre they did at the birth of Jesus and at the birth of Moses, respectively. But Lord, you preserved the del- deliverer. You preserved the ones of God. And Lord God, we pray that in the spite of this gross darkness upon our land, in spite of it, Lord Jesus, we pray for mercy. We pray for mercy. We pray for mercy. We pray for mercy. We pray for mercy in the name of Jesus. We pray that Lord peace will reign in this land. We know that you are working so we hold on to it. 
in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we ask for mercy. Lord, our hands are weak, but you train our hands for war. So we will arise by your strength. We'll keep declaring into the atmosphere. We'll keep praying. We'll keep declaring your word. I will speak peace in the name of Jesus. Like never before, peace in the name of Jesus. Like never before, peace, oh God. We will not be tired. We will not be weary in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we give you praise. We pray that your strength will continually be all oh, what we decree today is good news. Somebody quote in the chat about good news. Today, good news in the name of Jesus. We thank you for how far you've kept us. Ah, despite this agitation. Oh God, you are helping us. We decree good news, good news of peace, good news of prosperity, even from the news outlet. Good news, oh God, even from the people in power. Good news. We thank you because the Nehemiah, the Esthers, oh God, they will arise. They are not tired. They will arise and do the needful in the name of Jesus. They will arise and declare and do the needful in the name of Jesus. Good news everywhere. Good news everywhere. In our own personal lives as well. Good news in the name of Jesus. For everyone that is sick in their heart, healing and good news in the name of Jesus. The eyes of everyone in power will open. Hey, we will not be so consumed supporting our own that will turn our back at the unrighteousness and the unjustice, injustice that is happening. Good news in the name of Jesus. Good news in the name of Jesus. Good news in the name of Jesus. We decree good news. Father, Lord, we bless you. Lord, we give you all the praise. We declare today blessed in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Hey. The Bible says the angel, when the angel of darkness see the blood of Passover over this nation, we carry the banner of the blood. And I say, enemy, you will pass over. You mob spirit, we thank God because you are out of our country. You oppressing spirit, you chaotic spirit, you spirit of war, demonic spirit that wants to ravage our land. We thank you because we, we thank God because you have been rebuked and sent out of this nation. I pray that let, 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 Christians will not host this demonic spirit. In the name of Jesus. Father, I lift up MCO no more as a point of contact. And this is a point of contact. I, I don't know the names of all the other ones that rise the people in other places or whatever they represent. And I say, Lord, is your son. Lord, is your son. As you came, as you were able to touch Saul, Lord, this man will encounter you. And it will hear, why are you oppressing my people? And he will come to Christ. And you will use him for mighty things. I use him as a point of contact. That Lord, you arrest his soul in the name of Jesus. He will, he will encounter you in the name of Jesus. I pray for El Rufai. I say this will encounter you in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray, using them as a point of contact, oh God, that they, are, they will encounter you in ways they cannot deny. And Lord, you will use them. I decree anybody that is winning or will be declared to win or will be installed, you know, as, as the leader or the winner of any election, Lord, you will use them. We are all them accountable first in the spirit. They will do only the biddings of God. We consecrate every, every seat of government, every political seat, from presidential to vice president, to state governor, to senate, to house of rep, to local government, to councillors, to, 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 to people or, or other parties. They will do your bidding in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Remember, you can use this link to join prayers at um, um, 9, 12, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9 p.m., 12.3. And we're back again by 6. Um, Today, this is Sister Debussy's birthday. I want us to celebrate her. She's been a blessing, a blessing to us, one of the people, ensuring that these watches and this thing that we are doing is working. Sister DBC, we love you. We celebrate you. Happy birthday to you. Uh, God bless you. Can we just unmute us and, and say happy birthday? Happy birthday, Sister DBC. We celebrate you. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. God bless you all.